Welcome back to Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. With the bye week coming up, the Gophers will look back at the season so far to find opportunities for improvement. They'll also have some extra time to prepare for their next Big Ten matchup with the Northwestern Wildcats. Wildcat football is something offensive coordinator Matt Limegrover knows well from personal experience, and he joins Mike Max in the Hall of Fame room. Thanks very much, Natalie. Coach, uh, it's a bye week before Northwestern. What do you, you, know, you have two bye weeks, actually, this year, the way that they've reconfigured the Big Ten. What can you get out of a bye week? Well, there's two major things that we work specifically with the bye week. Um, uh, one is to get healed up and get rested up a little bit. Uh, this bye week comes at a good time. It's the, the exact midway point of the season. So we've gone through a, a tough fall camp, um, had our non-conference schedule a couple couple tough Big Ten games. So to be able to have this week to get the guys rested up, um, we won't do anything with them um, early in the week. And then we'll have three days of practice and there'll be what we call coordinators practices, getting healed up a little bit. And then as, us as coaches, we're able to, to get about two, 10 good days as opposed to six on an opponent, uh, in this case, Northwestern. And Northwestern is where uh, it didn't originate for you, but it was early in your coaching career. You this coached was. for Gary Barnett when he was turning that Northwestern program around into what it still is today. What was that like for you? What, what was it like to be at that campus and to see that and, and to observe and to learn? You know, it's a very interesting uh, thing that you ask because, you know, I've been coaching college football, I think, for 20 years now. And the one amazing thing is I was there for the 95 season when, um, when we won the Big Ten and went to the Rose Bowl. And I have the when most they said vivid it memories be done. when they said yeah. it couldn't be done. Uh, in, uh, I just have so many vivid memories from that particular year. There's a lot of things that have kind of all melded together in my different stops, but there were a lot of great memories. Uh, you know, we had a pretty good linebacker on that team that year by the name of Pat Fitzgerald. Not too who, bad, uh, huh? Not too bad. And, and now the Pat head coach is, for people not familiar. Yes, yeah. yeah, now the head coach at Northwestern, and, and we've remained, uh, remained friends, which is, which is great, and uh, it's, it's a friendly rivalry. And, uh, uh, I've yet to get them. Uh, we need to. We need to beat them. Uh, that's a, that's a priority for me. Uh, uh, get after him. But it, it's it's great going back there. There's a lot of people that uh, even 15, 18 years later, there's a lot of people that that are very special back there. But uh, I'd like to be able to to shake all their hands and pat them on the back after a victory this yeah, year. That's my goal. Absolutely. And and as you when you have a chance to philosophically look at things, do you anticipate you'll make if not changes in personnel, changes in scheme because this is the time when the coaches have time to really reflect and look at what we see much different? Yeah, there, there'll be some things. I mean, there won't be any radical changes. I think that, that when you start doing that, that gets tough on, on the young men. And, and we're still, you know, we're still building. We're still uh, putting together what we need to do for the long term. But there's some tweaking because every year you, you go into the season expecting one thing and then whether it's injuries or how defenses end up playing you or the adjustments they make, you do have to make some tweaks. And that's what this week or this week is good for us as coaches is being able to take a step back, letting the kids while they rest is now us kind of refocusing and saying, okay, what has worked, um, what hasn't worked so far, uh, what do we need to focus on? Um, we do a lot of, of self-scout this week. We really dive into it where each week you, I, I, best way to sum it up is we get a snapshot each week of our self-scout. Now we're going to get a poster um, and be able to look at the big picture and say, okay, if a team's looking at us over six games, you know, what, what, what do see? they see our tendencies are? What are they probably preparing for? And then within our, within our system is, is tweak some things off of that to, to change it up and, uh, and uh, maybe gain that advantage in that area. Coach, thank you so much. You got it. Matt Limegrover sitting in for the head coach, Jerry Kill. Bye week this week. Next week, we'll get real serious about the Northwestern scouting report. Right now, let's send it back to you, Natalie. That will do it for this week's edition of Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Be sure to check out gophersports.com for updates on your Golden Gophers all week long. For Mike Max and Coach Limegrover, I'm Natalie Nias. Thanks for joining us right here on Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Thank you.